evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader. Today is Tuesday, April the 4th, 2023. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, all Tullahoma City Schools now have a police officer at each campus. Tullahoma City Schools honored their teachers and UTSI held its annual Women's History Month celebration. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader. Hi, my name is Ringo. Here at Barkview Senior Living, they're human friendly. That's why I love it here, and so does my senior human. When they want a bite, they get chef-prepared meals, and so do I. Movies in the theater, day trips, walks on the trail, and other senior humans to play with. The grass and the grounds are exquisite. It's everything my human needs to be healthy and active. Barkview. <clears throat> a Parkview Senior Living. For your dog's best friend, you. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. In partnership with the Tullahoma Police Department, beginning yesterday, six of the Tullahoma City School campuses that do not already have an officer in their buildings daily will now have a police officer present every day. Tullahoma Police Chief Jason Williams and Tullahoma City Schools Director of Schools Dr. Katrine Stevens have had many conversations related to law enforcement presence and partnerships with the schools. Student safety is a priority and these types of discussions have been ongoing between Tullahoma City leaders and Tullahoma City Schools district personnel and board members over the years. Following the tragedy at the Covenant School in Nashville last week and as a prevention moving forward, these law enforcement officials will remain at each school until the remainder of the school year. Dr. Stevens said, quote, I want to thank all of our city leaders and elected officials for having prioritized this need for our students, faculty, families, and community. It has been my distinct pleasure to work directly with Chief Williams and his remarkable team of men and women law enforcement members over the years. We look forward to coming, we look forward to welcoming these new officers to TCS, end quote. Continuing with Tullahoma City Schools theme, we now bring you video from the recent Tullahoma City School Board meeting where Teachers of the Year were honored. In this clip, we start, we start out with Dr. Clint Epley, principal of Bel Air Elementary, recognizing Faye Patterson, followed by East Lincoln Elementary principal Scott Hargrove, sharing about Sharon Nelius. It is always a fun time of year and such a joy to celebrate our educators who have been named Teacher of the Year at their school and even for our district. The level of commitment displayed by our educators is incredible and our teachers of the year have earned the level of respect from their peers that they were named the teacher of the year for their school. So I have the honor of recognizing Miss Faye Patterson. She's our speech pathologist at Bel Air. Miss um, Faye, before I get started on a little bit of a um, little bit about her and things our, our staff has shared, I want to say she's a wonderful uh, person more than anything to have at Bel Air first and foremost and she also does a wonderful job in, in her role as speech pathologist. Um, Miss Faye, as she's known at Bel Air, was raised in Bedford County uh, by Doris and Lavi Fan. She has one brother, one sister. She started her career in education in Bedford County Schools before spending more than 20 years in health care but she was still able to work with children. She's worked for TCS for the previous five years. In her five years, she's actually worked in a number of schools. She's worked at THS, Robert E. Lee, uh, Jack T. Farah, this year very heavily, and she's currently full-time at Bel Air most of the time, right? Um, for me, and, and I, could, I could, normally I don't go by script, but I wrote this down for, for a reason. Miss Fade displays all qualities I want in a Bel Air B. I think she displays all qualities our families want in a Bel Air B. And I think she displays all qualities our teachers want. She's kind to all, an excellent communicator, which you would expect. Uh, she's respectful to coworkers, students, and parents. Ms. Faye's professionalism is top-notch, and her thoroughness in meetings is appreciated by faculty, staff, and parents. Ms. Faye is a wonderful member of our team at Bel Air and an even better friend. Um, in her meetings, and this is a little bit off track, I've learned so much about speech and language 
um, therapy, just from listening to how she explains this, you know, different her screenings and evaluations to parents and what she does. And the teachers, when I asked what they like and what they've learned from Miss Faye and what they want me to share, echoed that. Very thorough, wonderful communicator to parents and all. Um, I asked her coworkers, many of them, what they wanted, wanted me to share about Miss Faye. It's all good things. <laughs> Immediately, someone said, care and compassion for each child. I think of the love she pours into them, very thorough in meetings. Even I have learned much about speech therapy through IEP meetings. A wonderful coworker and a great friend, a wonderful person who completes every aspect of her job with the utmost detail and dedication for excellence. She takes on extra roles, even at other schools, such as Jack T. Fair this year, to be supportive and a team player when called upon. She's hardworking. Everybody needs a Miss Faye. She is always smiling in a ray of sunshine. We wish there were more like her. This is my personal favorite. There once was a teacher named Faye who taught folks to speak plain as day. And when she was done, they all had such fun. Their words came as easy as play. Thank you, Miss Faye. Congratulations. Sharon Nullius has been uh, involved in education for over 23 years, and I read an article on the six most powerful things that you can share with an educator, and I'm going to kind of talk about those six things and kind of put, as we refer to her, the, the Shern effect on it. Thank you. Educators like to hear thank you. Thank you, Sharon, for greeting our students every day at the front door with a smile and encouragement. Thank you for being a team player. Sharon's hand is always first to be raised for volunteering in all school matters. Second thing, we appreciate you. Sharon just doesn't teach. We appreciate her because she prepares our children for a road ahead with lessons that will serve them the rest of their lives. Third thing, your sacrifices don't go unnoticed. She does above and beyond. Sharon serves as a coach of our cross-country team. She organizes our city cross-country meets. She organizes the Eagle Strut each fall, as well as a fifth grade reception. Her presence and support is evident in all events at the Eagle's Nest during the school day and well after school hours. Fourth thing, you made this easy to understand. Sharon has a very unique ability and does an outstanding job of communicating with our young folks, our young learners, so they understand what's being taught to them. The fifth thing, my child wants to learn more about this. Sharon makes learning fun and our students are always excited to learn in, uh, in her counseling class. Six, you truly care about your students. You want to see your students uh, I think this is the one thing that really separates Sharon. Um, she really wants to see her children succeed, whatever endeavor they are participating in. And she is very honored to serve as their cheerleader and their mentor. Thank you, Sharon, for being a positive impact that you make every day at East Lincoln. And we'll be right back after these messages with the Teachers of the Year from Jack T. Farah Elementary and Robert E. Lee Elementary Schools. Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. We tend to lose our motivation when we have something that's chronic, but you've got to do what you can early on as you can. After I'd exercise like that, I would have a lot of energy to do housework or whatever I needed. Well, I would recommend it highly to anyone at any degree of Parkinson. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. We now conclude the awarding of Tullahoma City Schools Teachers of the Year, starting with Jack T. Farah Principal Travis Moore, honoring Angie Coop, followed by Robert E. Lee Elementary Principal Mary Gilbert, sharing about Macy Honey. Angie Coop, 
I don't even know where to begin. I've only been at uh, Jack T. Farah for the last uh, year and three-fourths of a year here, and uh, Angie's always been a person that's come to me uh, at any point in time, anything they need. So the first thing that comes to mind is team player. Uh, she'll come up. She'll ask what we need. She'll always uh, volunteer. Sounds like that's a theme of, uh, of many of these folks uh, up here. And congratulations to everybody up here as well. But, but Angie, a uh, team player, also ties into family. Uh, she's a family first person. Uh, been, a, been, a, been a tough year this year to start out, right? And so for your folks, uh, your peers, to see you go through life, you, what'd you have this year? So for her to endeavor through all that and still show the utmost honor and respect for this profession that it takes to teach young, young children, and she's a second grade teacher at Jack T. Farah, uh, family is, is very, very important to her. Just recently, she comes to school. Her son just had surgery on his mouth. Mr. Moore, I think I can hang it up. He's going to be okay. I said, no, that's not where you need to be. You need to be at home. We, we will be just fine here. But that just speaks to the character of, of Angie. Uh, and I call her Coop every time I see her. Coop. So it's a real easy name. We got team here. We got a wrestling team here tonight, right? You guys uh, take some. Does anybody have Miss Coop? Anybody raise your hand? Anybody in here? Awesome. So it's neat for her to get to see you guys uh, grown up again. Uh, it may not have been in second grade. It may have been in a, in a different grade. But it's real neat to, uh, to come here and, and see that. So uh, this morning, I asked your coworkers, so uh, what would you get to take on this year uh, uh, being uh, the veteran second grade teacher at Jack T. Farah? I took on two brand new teachers, one who has not finished and one who had never taught reading. <laughs> so uh, came in on math. So... Uh, I asked them, I said, what is something uh, that you would like to say uh, about Angie? And they said the one thing, lifesaver. Um, she's, she's been their rock. She's been their soul. So I wanted to uh, present you with uh, some lifesavers uh, today so you can remember your, uh, your cohorts. But that's what, that was the one thing they said about you. Uh, you've, been, you've been their lifesaver this year. So thank you for everything you do for Jack T. Farah and looking forward to many more years with you at Jack T. Farah. So congratulations. Um, this is a fun night for me because Macy and I go way back, and so she probably doesn't want me to tell everything that I know, but um, <laughs> so uh, if it tells you anything, Macy grew up at the same time that one of our daughters was coming through, and they played a lot of sports together, so we had lots of time with Macy. I think it was in my phone, it said Mama Mary for a while, and um, got to see Macy growing up, and wow, what a fine young young lady that she was. Now I get to see her as an educator, as a mom, as a parent. And so what was former a Robert E. Lee Lyon, East Middle School graduate, Tullahoma High School graduate, and now to see as a teacher of the year. I tell you, that is an honor within itself to be here tonight, to celebrate that with you. But I was um, thinking about some things to share, because there's so many things that I can share about Macy to, to just tell you a little bit. Um, she has two children that are precious. So we have Winston at Robert E. Lee, who's a little lion. He's six. And then Grayson's four. And she married Jonathan Honey. So she was Macy Mayberry back. Many of you may have known her as Macy Mayberry, but Macy Honey now. Her father was a former coach. So Coach Mayberry, and now we have the educator that's a daughter following those footsteps. Um, she graduated from MTSU, which was wonderful with her undergraduate and her graduate degree. But we are so blessed that she is from Tullahoma City Schools. Fine product there. She's taught seven years in Lynch, uh, excuse me, Lynchburg. My voice may go, I've been sick. Lynchburg Elementary and then three years at Robert E. Lee, making a total of 10 years. There's been a lot of initiatives that Macy has embraced and she is the first one to step up with a smile on her face and take on anything and everything and she gives it her all. But I asked some of the staff because this was voted on 
by her friends, colleagues, and family. And I thought it was only right to share the things that they thought stood out and made her special to represent our school. One of the initiatives that I've heard a lot of fun about this too, Macy, is um, the healthier you. So she has worked really hard with our staff because she cares about our staff, um, creating that overall school culture and health. And so they have been working on their weight. Now, you know, Macy's a motivator, but she also, uh, I have found out that there's candy and it may show up in somebody's classroom leading to somewhere, but they're really not supposed to eat it. I think they're, they're being tempted. And so they'll take some candy and they'll like, quick, eat it. Macy's coming. Macy's coming. So it's all in fun. But anyway, with that, she's had 20 members with a combined body weight of 60%. That, they, that she has helped through this. She's also taken on helping them with daily fitness challenges, uh, food logs, motivational calendars, and incorporated many activities that they can enjoy, but also putting themselves first to take care of themselves so that they will be better for our students. But she also does it to set the example for our students, and I think that's one wonderful uh, example of being the best version of themselves. Another thing that uh, I love telling this story reminded Macy that I was there that night to see it. She does a thing with our student called the Half Court Challenge, and at the end of the class, the student Students cannot wait because they go to the half court and they're shooting the basketball to see who can make it. And the ones that make it, they get a pizza party. Back when Macy was in middle school playing at East Middle on the basketball team, right before the halftime, she shoots the ball, slings it up there, and it goes right in the goal right as the buzzer goes off. And so that was a really fun moment to see that and that excitement. And she's carried that over with our students. If you could see them there cheering each other on, the camaraderie, some of the quiet students that would never get up and want attention, but they will do it for a half-court shot and to get a pizza party. So that's been really great. Uh, we do a positive behavior reward party and events, and the, the children earn class dojo points and things like that. Macy is one that's very instrumental with planning the fun activities for the students. But the important part is they get the points for being caught doing something good because it's the right thing to do. So really stressing integrity and standing out. And that's something that Macy's been really uh, passionate about. But another thing, if you were to come to Robert E. Lee, uh, the first time this happened, we were all like, wow. We had the PE extravaganza field day. And our campus is large. And she had events planned the entire campus, big blow-ups, activities, place for family to come, uh, children, community, and it really has just a theme that people look forward to every year. So those are just some of the highlights. But the other thing that stands out is that she truly gives it her all. She goes ab beyond and above for all students. Our REL Lions love her, and we are blessed to have her. So Macy, congratulations, and you are an incredible representative. Thank you for being a part of our family. And we'll have more from the Teacher of the Year Awards on Thursday's news. We'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. Even when you prepare, life doesn't always go as planned. Today, one in seven seniors live in poverty. To learn how you can help, visit aarpfoundation.org. Welcome back. UTSI held its annual Women's History Celebration last week, and news leader Philip Scoggins was there. 
In this clip, Ashley Brooks plays the original composition entitled Rose. I'm honored to be able to be here um, and to do a special song, a song that I wrote, actually, um, and it's called Rose. Um, I want to dedicate it to all of the beautiful ladies of UTSI and all the women of Tennessee and around the world. There's a little girl that I used to know who didn't realize her worth, oh no. Every night she'd cry herself to sleep. Didn't realize who she was till eventually she found out and she wrote a rose, wrote a rose, bloom. And to the marvelous woman she is today Rose, Rose, Rose Bloomed into a full woman Once this little girl I used to know Found out her flaws make her roots go strong she can now handle rainfall and not be swept away or carried at all. She holds her own and she rose, a rose, rose, a rose bloomed into the marvelous woman she is today. Rose, a rose, rose, a rose bloomed into a full woman into a full woman oh there's beauty in every petal pain in every thorn but in the midst of it all she is standing tall oh there's beauty in every petal pain in of it all, she is standing tall. Oh, row, a rose, row, a rose bloomed into the marvelous woman she is today. Row, a rose, row, a rose bloomed into a full woman. Thank you. And we'll have more from UTSI's Women's History Month celebration on next week's news. We'll be right back after these messages. For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, enjoying friends over chef-prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back. And that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. The Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency's Bobby Wilson Free Fishing Day is scheduled for June 10th, 2023. All Tennesseans are invited to go fishing with no license required. It's time to mark the calendar and teach the kids how not to be afraid to touch the worms. When the kids were born, we signed up for the um, sportsman's licenses. So we got some magazines in the mail every month and my son loved all the pictures of the fish. And so we found out about this and we have some friends who've been doing it for a couple years. So we came out to try it out. Oh. 
two things I don't do, or three things I don't do enough, I don't take a hunt enough, camp enough, and fishing enough. So they, they love it. And don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. On this week's show, we'll hear from Tisha Fritz about the upcoming TEDx Telehoma event. Fran Gray will invite everyone to the Purple Olympics, and we'll hear about the prayer event scheduled for Bonnaroo. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed. I couldn't walk. I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. One thing about Park View, we could bring our animal out there with us. It would have been a deal breaker if we had not been able to take Gracie. Yeah, we would not have gone. If you want to do something, there's something to do most of the day. You shouldn't get bored. I really enjoy my life here at Park View. I really choose what I want to do. We have a wonderful library with hundreds of books that I love. It is a wonderful place. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 1910 at 84 degrees. The record low was in 1936 at 23 degrees. The average high for this day is 67 and the average low is 44. Cloudy tonight with a low of 66. Rain expected for Wednesday with a high of 83 and a low of 53, and that rain should continue through Thursday with a high of 63 and a low of 47. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for News Leader. Stay safe and have a great evening.